Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. To make a pattern like this that goes around the circle is really pretty easy and pretty good exercise uh, to practice things on and learn a few tools. So we're going to make an ellipse, doesn't matter what size. I'm going to hit P to put it in the center. I'm going to make another ellipse holding down the shift key so it'll grow in inwardly, evenly. Now I'm going to take a two-point line. And I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. And I'm going to rotate it 10 degrees. And then I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. I'm going to mirror it. So I've got equal parts. I am going to open up the blend docker. And I'm going to grab these two lines. And I'm going to blend them. I'm going to go up to 12. And then I'm going to grab my, take the alt key and swipe through the two ellipses and I'm going to blend them 12 times and what I did is I got a grid work of little bitty rounded squares I'm going to control G to group that together so we move it out of the way later and then just start playing with your idea just keep thinking if you want them to touch they need to be equal on both sides if you don't want them to touch they don't have to be and the more squares you probably have the more fun but we're just going to start off and if we want this line to continue, which would be just be a solid line across the top, we could go there. But then we could come down here and make different lines and, and do whatever you, you know, if you go to the end, then you then it's going to touch. And if you don't want them all touching, just come short. You know, you could do different designs. I'm just going to go down and just don't go to the end and... Let's just see what we get here. I'm just using the Smart Fill tool and clicking my, la uh, my left mouse button. Now, if you want to connect again, you know, we could go down here and actually go right there and go ahead and make this line solid. And then you could add, you know, a couple of lines, you know, there, you know, maybe a couple of lines here couple of lines here and whatever you think looks good. Now I'm going to select all these together. And I'm going to weld them together. And that didn't work. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to set my nudge factor on like four inches and I'm going to move these all out of the way. They might not have worked because of, I had the um, broken pattern. I'm going to left click, right click. And you can see, what I have here. Now I'm going to try to weld them. And that semi worked. We'll just eradicate it and make it real fast and just delete. Sometimes you get that in Corel. Um, I think we went, no, if I hold down the Alt key, I can actually kind of go along that arch. Didn't get them all. Now you can do one or two things. And this won't work all the time if we see it's still got that line in there. So let's just smart fill it. And I can move that over, then smart fill the other sections. That's one reason I decided to make the video control G to group them. Now we're going to, we're actually going to leave that in there. I'm just going to nudge it back over. And we'll see what we get when it rotates around so we did it 20 degrees or 10 degrees increments so we need to do 20 so i'm going to control d and make a duplicate double click on the x and move double click on the x and get your rotation and move it to the center now let's rotate it 20 degrees control d all the way around and the reason i grouped everything together this way i can either just Grab it and delete it or move it out of the way. Kind of a unique little pattern. And then at this time, you could probably make it different colors. And make it a lighter blue. Put a black background on it like I have in the original. Make it black. Go up to object, order, back a page. Pretty cool little design. It, I mean, it's, it's really kind of fun to play with to see what you can come up with. But it's probably the easiest way to do something like that. 
Now, I've still got this little line. So what we can try to do now, and it might act like the other one when we did it, let's try to select it all and weld this. Yep, see, it, it got rid of it. So now it got rid of that line. We can hit P and put our box in the center again. And that line is gone. So it's all one solid, solid color. But you could you know, blend more than 12 and have a lot more boxes. And, and you could also, I mean, you don't have to rotate it 10 degrees. I could have rotated it, you know, 15 degrees both way and had 30 and had more room to play. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.